Just dropping in. Snipers everywhere. Might need to deal with them first. <laughs> hey, every. <laughs> it's gonna be one of those days, huh? A lot of junk scattered around here. <laughs> well, this web shot could make a great distraction. Oh man, the Spider-Man LP really brings it out in me. The dumb. It really brings the whole dumb ass out. I need to divide and conquer. Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to Let's Play Marvel's Spider-Man. Uh, in a very Arkham City-esque sequence, uh, we first have to deal with a lot of snipers on a lot of rooftops. Actually, now that I think about it, this was a thing in Arkham Asylum as well. This one up here on the watchtower is almost totally enclosed except from the front. Except we can get a ledge takedown on him while we crawl up the wall. So he is no longer a danger to us. I think that leaves... Should be just you. Just the one opposite us. We can web zip over there. Uh, and then... You can see how many red dots there are in the bottom right on the minimap. Uh, this doesn't completely put us in the clear, but it will make the ensuing fight a whole heck of a lot more manageable. Even after dealing with all the snipers, we still have all these dots. Now we could go and try to stealth the rest of this fight. I think that's profoundly unfun. Uh, the only reason why we really committed to stealth for the snipers is because they present kind of a, a unique threat. We can't really brawl with them around because they cover so many crisscrossing angles and from long distances, but just regular dudes with guns, it's fine. That guy was... That was such a ridiculous wind-up, and then he whiffed so hard. I was in the air for like a full second before he swung, and he started winding up before I left the ground. So once we deal with, looks like about three to four more, four more, uh, now three, we'll be able to get inside this Fisk-owned warehouse that the demons are trying to raid. What Fisk was storing inside is still a mystery to us. We just know that it's some kind of uh, some kind of storage facility for it, and that it's got a pretty big entourage of dudes guarding it, and that the demons have been hitting Fisk's other uh, other caches. You know we can't have vigilantes trespassing or doing illegal searches. Yeah, I know. Which is why I brought a warrant. So what do you say we do some perfectly legal searching? I like the sound of that. What's your name? Officer Davis. Call me Jeff. And you are? Uh... uh... <laughs> Just messing with you. My son's a big fan. So, that warrant cover breaking down doors? Not without a lot of extra paperwork. Okay. I'll find another way in. This is now the second uh, uh, cop that we're teaming up with. Check around back. I'd go myself, what you know? Which is a bummer, because fuck the NYPD in particular. All cops are bastards, but especially the NYPD. I feel like I'm in a horror movie. Hello? Oh, this is such a good setting. And a hook for a hand? I forgot how nice okay, this this uh door? solid moonlit blue Jeff, lighting man. is. I'm doing my best to refrain from knock knock jokes. Appreciated. You see a junction box powering the door? Yeah, got it. If we can overload it, that should force the door open. Smart, but I don't have anything that packs enough current. Try this. 
Stun gun, genius. Capacitors in this are just what I need for an upgrade I've been thinking of. So we are now going to get to craft a new gadget. Why can I not make this? I have the backpack and the landmark tokens. Oh, it needs... Um, I need to be level 12 to unlock that, though. So there's an additional prerequisite. Either way, we have the electric webbing now. Goes along with our rapid fire webs and our impact webbing. This one will arc to other uh, enemies. Remind me of my son. I started taking apart the TV when he was five. <laughs> now he's unlocking his friend's phones. Sounds like he could teach me a few things. Okay. Nothing illegal in plain sight? Kinda anticlimactic, huh? At first glance. Let's look closer. Looking for something specific? This yard's been here a long time. Bootleggers used to use it back in the day. Gotcha. Those guys love their hidden rooms. Check it out. Sound hollow to you? I got a hidden panel, like the one on the door. The conduits lead out the back. Look for another junction box. Let's see if my mask lenses can pick up the conduits. So that is what the entire warehouse sequence is going to be about. Uh, it's going to be about acclimating us to our new gadget. And some of our spider sensibilities. Or, Well, I guess in this case it's framed within the context of what the suit can do. But either way, we can track down uh, the junction boxes by following the wiring when we send out a pulse with the suit. Hmm. We got a big fat nothing. Well, there's one secret room that could be more. Notice anything about the floor? Uh -huh. They can hide the doors, but not the scrapes they leave. Keep an eye out for more of those. So we're gonna go search the rest of the warehouse for more of these. I happen to know that the next one that we need to go to is up here in the upper right corner on the second floor. Like so. Hey dirt. Scrape, no door. None I can see anyway. Great. Be right there. Maybe not. Elevator's busted. Sit tight, I'll pull you up. Yeah. Oh wait, that's the wrong elevator. Oh well, that'll solve a problem for us later. Uh, so we need to pull this to get him up to the second floor on this side, and then there's still another problem. Uh, the bridge is out. Machine parts, big honkin' rats. <laughs> well, it's actually and not as big a problem out. as you might think. Because... Dude can move. Nice. Stuck the landing and everything. We're not all donut eaters. <laughs> Fair enough. Another secret door. I'll rig the lock. Let me know if you find the junction box. Yep, on it. Alright, so this is the very back of the warehouse. Or I guess that's the front. Found one. Nailed it. Hell yeah, you did. Now we just have to wait for him to open it up. Nothing. I'm starting to feel like this is Fisk's way of messing with me. But look at the walls. They kept guns here. They wouldn't have moved them to the front door. Gotta be a passageway we're missing. Check out the wall. This might control access to another area. Fisk's men were talking about a vault. Maybe we're close. Bet on it. Looks like a dual circuit. See if you can find a second junction box. So all it really is is a weapons cache. Uh, but we should be able to open something in the floor by hitting the junction box near the elevator. Oh, it dropped back down. That's why I was saying that uh, we solved the problem in advance earlier when we lifted the elevator up. I just didn't Clear. think it dropped back down. Uh, we have to lift it up to expose the junction box. You were right, Jeff. Trap door. Outstanding. Think you can help me out? This thing's heavy. One, two, three. Well, that isn't spooky at all. Probably an old bootlegger's tunnel. And it looks like no one's cleaned it since Al Capone.
Big chunk of concrete in the way. I can't get through. Let me see how it looks from the top. This is really useful because while it might seem like a little bit of busy work, got room to maneuver here. Hang on. Uh, it's just reminding you that you what have this ability. Let's hustle. Place is unstable. Okay, that definitely wasn't a subway. The game goes the extra mile with a lot of its uh, concepts to reinforce them. To not just teach you and test you, but to then reteach you and reinforce the lessons later on. Because it is a, a in terms of like your options, it is a decently complex game. There. Like, there are a lot of things that you can do and a lot of ways to interact with the world. They didn't bother with. Too much effort to break in when you can just peel back the wire mesh over this gun rack. Shh. Demons. Stay here. Hell no. It'll take both of us to stop them. And some of these. They're moving. Let's go. Get him! Stop it! Find cover! Plus, I think more refreshers like that. That's what and I'm talking about! This is something that's only become apparent to me as I've uh as I've gotten older. Those are so invaluable. Because more and more, I'm not beating a game within a day or two or three days of me getting it. I'm spreading my playtime out a lot more. Which means sometimes I'm coming back to a game after, like, getting halfway into it and coming back three weeks later or something. And then just utterly forgetting what to do and what all my buttons are and what we're in the middle of. So, like, these occasional little refreshers can kind of be useful sometimes. I got your Thanks, I needed that. Not the most important mechanic in the world to refresh yourself on, your timing is but still pretty good. Firing. Stay clear. Okay, I want to save this for the guy with the shield down below him. Because he is the most inconvenient to take out without it. I think we cancel his shot. Oop, there's... Yeah. The grenades here are not as annoying. And it's still really useful to deflect them back when you... Or, um, uh, throw them back when you can. Not as necessary. So this chase, if I'm remembering it right, if I lose two trucks full of gunmen in one day, it's time to hang up the webs. Uh, is kind of scripted. I don't think. Like, look, we're for a second we were below 20 meters away. Also, touch the ground. Fuck, it's hot lava. Um, yeah, we got within 15, 16 meters, something like that, and didn't get the prompt to grapple onto it. So that'll only come up after the truck has gone a certain distance. So it's it also rubber bands like hell. So we just have to keep up until we get to a certain point. Stay safe, Jeff. Don't do anything crazy. Well also avoiding those rockets. Oh no! Went off the kind of skid off the top of a car. Oh shit! No! I love these chases because it feels so good to swing, as I've said a bunch already. Uh, and there's like, there's a structure to it now. It's not just downtime swinging around the city, but there are stakes and some structure to it too. Plus this. This is always pretty good.
in one of our first really big bombastic set piece kind of action beats coming up. And it's really a good one. Spectacular, you might say. Because uh, it's just restrained enough, but still pretty dense with the action. Comes at a good point in the story, too. We've now identified the officer as Jefferson Davis. We're being told he has minor injuries and is expected to make a full recovery. Excuse me, miss. Are you supposed to be here? More than you. After that auction house thing, the bugle put me on the city beat, which means I get to focus full time on real stories like this and the demons. You know the closer you get to them, the more you become a target, right? The closer I get, the better chance we have to stop them. We? Officer Davis, Mary Jane Watson, Daily Bugle. No comment. I don't blame you. But these guys are gonna tell their story with or without you. And they thrive on controversy. So what's your end? I don't have one. I just listen. Okay. Up in. She's good. Man, I'm beat. Time to head home and get some sleep. Alright, so that's gonna do it for now. Thank you all for watching. Take it easy. Have a good one.